Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's it's a frosty Sunday morning. It's about the the end of November. I don't know, it's the 27th, 28th. I think it's the 28th. Anyway, it's such a nice morning. I thought I'd do a little cattle video. Yeah, we feed uh, with this TMR. Jared's just coming. I'll show you how that works. TMR stands for Total Mixed Ration. And uh, I'll go over what we're feeding them. It's not, it's not the fanciest ration, but it's what we have. And uh, this was kind of a last minute effort, these cattle. And I didn't put silage up this year for a lot of reasons. I may or may not get into it. Anyway, we just drive along with this TMR. Keep just popping up the manger. have here is uh, it's a group of cattle that we bought from uh, actually from the Schaus cattle company out of uh, Elmwood Ontario and uh, Ken and his his dad Wally they they're what you call uh, order buyers you give them an order tell them what you want and they find it for you primarily Western cattle they bring in a lot of Western western calves and yearlings they bring yearlings in september and the calves come a little bit later we had a little issue with these i usually feed big cattle we had an issue this year with cattle getting out so we had to put we put this bar on and we ended up putting that cable in there to keep the calves from jumping through they get in the manger get turned sideways next thing you know they were out so I'll take a walk through these cattle. Like I said, these are western calves. And uh, we only had to needle one. And I believe the one we needled, and uh, Shyla, our vet, will correct me. I'm pretty sure it was a black one that we needled. These things are getting pretty quiet. I try to walk them twice a day. And when I walk them, I'm looking for anybody with a runny nose and uh, anybody breathing funny and any other symptoms of corona that they might have but these cattle have been in uh, uh, I believe four weeks and they're well on their way now we <clears throat> kind of have settled into a routine I have uh, two grandsons, Cameron and Wesley, and I kind of alternate in the evenings. Uh, wh whoever's not busy comes and helps me. It's a lot easier. We bed every night, and we usually put hay in every night. And it's a little nicer with two people. But they're getting pretty friendly, as you can see with 61R here. We're kind of due to clean the manure out. We like to clean them out about once a month. I think Jared's gone to fuel up, maybe. Yeah, he's gone to fuel up. We just put another hay feeder in today. We're feeding uh, oats and peas, which are... Uh, these oats and peas are our cover crop. Everybody talks about cover crop. 
and then they plow it down well we grow oats and peas after wheat and then we cut it just I guess you'd call it in the boot stage just when it's starting to head out we'll cut it let it sit for about well depending on the weather day or two and then we bring it and we tube it and I'll take you back there in a minute this is uh, kind of mixed hay we have in this feeder it's alfalfa and grass mixed it's second cut and we give them that free choice and what we're feeding in the manger is uh, oats and peas through the TMR a little bit of dry hay not much a uh, bit of grain corn ground corn and uh, wet distillers and a pre uh, a vitamin premix as you can see they're pretty happy anyway that's about it for in here uh, they look pretty pretty happy this morning it's this is kind of perfect weather it's um, one degree today which they like it a little on the cool side this is that we cover building that we featured uh, a couple of weeks ago and I kind of give you a little shot of the cattle then but when these cattle come in uh, shows have a program that they put them on the uh, give them a couple of shots and they bob their tails and they check to make sure that everybody's castrated and uh, that's just it's a kind of a prevention thing which I think in the end is cheap it's not fun running these through the squeeze to give them a needle what we're doing this morning I just put the second hay feeder in this morning we put a bale in each one we're kind of doing a taste test today to see what they prefer these cattle just love this fresh straw we kind of try to bet them at least give them a little bit every day today we give them three because Saturday night because of hockey we sometimes skip betting on Friday night or on Saturday night sorry and do it uh, Sunday morning Sunday morning Jared always seems to meet me here we give the boys the day off anyway I'll, <clears throat> I'll take you back to the uh, oats and peas and show you that stuff okay this is our oat and pea mix and we use this for a cover crop we used to grow red clover we have always had trouble getting a catch with red clover and uh, so we switched to oats and peas and what we do we bring it home after we bale it actually this stuff was grown right here and uh, we have a neighbor who comes and he custom tubes it for us and this stuff in siles in these tubes makes real good feed it's uh this year i caught it a little earlier this year and it's a little higher in protein than we usually get which is good we have to cut this plastic anyway on this farm we've owned it i don't know how many years but we've been following dr dave hooker's corn bean and wheat rotation and the year it's into wheat is when we have the oats and peas so this is our roughage that we're using what we're trying to do with these cattle is background them we're not trying to finish them we're just trying to raise them up to a thousand pounds and then we'll probably sell them usually I fill this bunk with corn silage this year we didn't <clears throat> for a lot of reasons this is the wet distillers that we use we get it out of Chatham <coughs> that's kind of our protein source this is a bit of the dry hay we have <coughs> this is ground whole shell corn and uh, 
<coughs> we add that to the <coughs> our mix in the TMR. So these cattle come from central Manitoba from the Keller Ranch. They come in way in uh, 695 ADR right there. And uh, we just finished doing chores, Cameron and I. Where is Cameron? There he is. Hey, Cameron. So, we just thought we'd come back out here. We just give him a little more straw. Another bale. Every day. We kind of walk them every day just to make sure there's nobody coughing and Nobody runny nose or anything. Nobody with COVID. Do you see anybody with COVID? Anyway, they're basically pretty good. They like this fresh straw. We just put this in here and they're laying down already. Anyway... I'm not sure if you're interested in cattle. I certainly am. I don't know why. It's a disease, Cameron. Don't you think? <laughs> anyway. If you like this video, give us a like. And if by chance you haven't subscribed, and we are at 699 subscribers, and I want to thank everybody for that. That is... Uh, Unbelievable. I thought if we could ever get to 500 by Christmas, we'd be lucky. And, and this morning, Cameron, we were at 699. So, if you haven't subscribed, go back to the tramway video. We have got to get the tramway video to 12 likes. 12 likes and we'll have another tall tale from Tom. Anyway, the sun's setting and we're going to go home for supper. We'll catch you on the next one.